Yo guys, we're back again, another episode of Roofless Garage. We're officially in a garage, so I'm no longer completely roofless. But, uh, so today, I'm gonna show you what's going on. You and her DM, I'm in her mouth, we not the same. Flipping the funk, the heat, the fire, got the flame. Came with the gift, the gab, and blast with lots of game. So, as you can see, here, that cab mount is not supposed to look like that. We've got some new ones. The new ones are nice and shiny. Uh, they are Ford, they're Ford brackets. Uh, I don't remember when I got these. I don't know if they're still available, but I do know the these Rangers. The third gen Rangers were very susceptible to both of these rear cab mounts rotting out. Um, so along with those cab mounts, just to keep this body solid, we also got the Prothane uh, cab mount bushings. They are urethane. They're, they're not rubber, they're urethane. Like, I can't even leave a mark in those. You know, the only downfall to this Prothane kit is they don't come with the steel sleeves. So I have to figure out what size tubing will fit nicely in there and make my own. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're going to get this cab lifted up. I don't know how yet. Okay guys, so I didn't film this part because usually, usually the bolts fight you like crazy. However, for whatever reason, this truck, the bolts on the cab, the four remaining ones that I had left, all came out. The, uh, the help of map, like a little map torch, if you don't have access to oxyacetylene, WD-40, half-inch electric impact gun. But yeah, so it's a bit of a mess in there. Uh, I'm just getting ready to pick this up. I actually have a jig built, and I've pulled multiple cabs with it. So this kind of like sits, once the windows are open, this kind of sits on the outer door. And it just, I use the engine crane and it picks the whole cab up. There are all four cab mounts unbolted. Uh, I'm going to support the transmission because right now the transmission is actually supported by this ratchet strap. Um, but I'm going to put some spacers in the cross member and we'll get the transmission supported so that I can undo that ratchet strap and pick the cab up. Um, I don't have a lot of room, but it'll be, en it'll be enough to change the, the bushings and those frame mounts. All right, guys. So I ran out of time for this one but was able to very um, sketchily get the cab up in the air. Uh, there's plenty of room. I can change all of the bushings. And like I said, these rear mounts need to be changed badly. Like I'm just gonna cut them off. That's it for this. Um, when I get back from work, hopefully I can get some more stuff done. Um, like I said, I'm going to get the suspension stuff ordered and we're just going to keep putting away at this thing. Um, again, hit that subscribe, like button. Um, thanks to the current followers for sticking around and the new followers. I hope you enjoy it. 